What's up guys, I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. Today we are here again with Morton's on the move to bring the second part of the Airstream liftoff video. And today we are actually lifting it completely off the frame, so stay tuned. Welcome back to our channel everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We are super excited to have this big project done. This will be a huge sigh of relief for us. Yes, but before we call it done, we have to lift it off. And to do that, we have Tom and Kate helping us. I must bring you inside, kind of show you how we plan on doing this today. And uh, then we'll go from there. So here we go, guys. So we're going to be putting the entire frame up on cinder blocks here. So uh, we're gonna be putting uh, some two by four by fours across the frame from the inside, lifting the frame up, and the, the frame's gonna sit on those four by fours, gonna extend to the outside, and then sit on the cinder blocks that we're gonna be placing around the outside. Then we're gonna be able to remove the frame from underneath the entire shell. So we'll be jacking up the inside at four points two in the front and two in the back. We built this structure with four different cross sections. So the front two that we're lifting it on, not only have, um, are gonna be touching the ceiling for support, they also have trusses that go to the second in the middle support X. So we're hoping that by lifting on the front and the back X, and by the way we built this frame, that the weight will be evenly distributed, you know, really making it for a safe lift we gave it a test just a minute ago. It seemed all right, but uh, we only lifted it about two inches, so the real test is coming in just a minute. It's also super important to note that since we're lifting from the frame, we put jacks on all four corners of the frame underneath to really stabilize that so we're not going to be wobbling around as we're using the frame as the base of how we're lifting the shell off. So that's why we have four jack stands underneath the frame at all of those pressure points to keep a very stable lift going. jacking uh, we're just a little nervous that it might be a little wobbly so we're just gonna go slow and test it out and see how it goes but cross your fingers what do you think Tom uh, it's gonna work <laughs> Caitlin oh yeah it's gonna work I think the light that surrounds me Guys, we got it up about four inches. We're gonna put some supports in place and then try to get it up a few more inches and see where we sit at that point. And, uh, but we're making pretty good progress. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, we got the uh, the four by four that is going underneath the entire frame and is supporting it on the outsides underneath it and blocked up in the appropriate position. We are now going to tie the four by four to our main lifting truss here uh, to give additional support because as you can see right now, the whole thing is a little bit wobbly because it's only supported on these middle pieces. This is gonna tie the whole thing together, give us a lot more stability when we set it down on the outside. guys so what we just did was rested the whole front end on the four by fours and the cinder blocks creating so much more stability now and it's not just being um, balanced by these jacks we're uh, jacking it up from from the inside so now we're gonna replicate this process on the back end All right, y'all, so we actually were able to complete the lift relatively easy. You know, we definitely learned as we went, and with each individual lift we did, we learned new tricks to make the rest of it a little more, um, you know, easy. But Tom, what is your overall uh, take on the process? I thought it went uh, pretty well. It was, um, Oh yeah, as you said, it took uh, some learning, so we figured it out, but I think it went well. I think it's really stable. I think it's gonna be good like that. The one piece of advice I would say that I learned is that we probably overbuilt the frame. I'm happy we did though, you know? Uh, any other, would you say, if you had to do it again, anyone, what do you think you would do differently? Um, I don't know. I mean, because we, we were learning as we went and we just adjusted to what, I mean, you can't predict a lot of things. We wouldn't want to like underbuild either. I mean, exactly. th th we didn't hear any creaking or anything. No. It was rock it was really solid. solid. Yeah. And that was the awesome thing is that no noise that sounded like damage was being done. So that was all good. And, and I, I think having an, uh, quite a few extra pairs of hands definitely helped a ton. It gives you an extra peace of mind because at certain times, all four of us were doing something at the same time. So it really helps to have that extra security of other people there to help you. And along with the hands, the brains are good too, because there are things Olivia and I would never even think of that Tom and Kate definitely 
thought of and made the process a lot easier. So yeah, having yeah. Four, four people thinking about it really helps. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't think any of us are experts on this, but having a sounding board and all of us can kind of see it from a different perspective really helped come up with a good game plan going forward. So like we said on the part one, I want to go ahead and reiterate it now. Go check out Morton's On The Move channel. We'll link it below. We'll put it in the description in the comment section. They have so many awesome videos over there, both, both fun and educational. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see y'all next time. Bye guys. Bye.